Hello everyone, welcome to the integrity video. Here we will talk about the different methods of achieving the integrity. We have uh, different methods here like hash, MAC and digital signatures. So why we should use the hash? Um, this is only useful when the data gets modified accidentally. Um, and why we should Mac use, use Mac? It is useful for achieving the integrity and reasonable authenticity. Not good enough for non-repudiation because it requires a symmetric key uh, at the both the end, at the sender uh, and receiver's end. And if that key is compromised, uh, then it would not be good enough to achieve the non-repudiation. For uh, digital signature, the digital signature is the only one which is, you know, uh, which offers the integrity, authenticity and non-repudiation. So that is the only one which offers um, the integrity uh, and uh, that has um, uh, the non-repudiation as well and uh, this offers the authenticity while in the hash it just offers the integrity and in the Mac it has integrity plus authenticity. So hash versus Mac, uh, the objective is ultimately to achieve the integrity uh, means the packet which is being traveled from one end to another end should maintain its integrity. It means um, if the packet is, is being modified, then the receiver should be able to identify, should be able to detect that this has been modified. The, using a hash, uh, a malware can modify a file, can recalculate its hash because at the, uh, at the sender end and the receiver end, it doesn't require any key. It's just the known algorithm. Uh, the sender can calculate the hash as well as the receiver can calculate the hash. For example, if uh, the sender is sending uh, the message to the receiver, and sender is calculating the hash there is no uh, way there is no guarantee that uh, if um, the hash of or if the message is tampered and the hash is recalculated uh, then the receiver will not be able to detect whether this method this this message is been tampered already while in mac a malware can still modify it can still modify a file but it cannot recalculate the MAC because it, it requires a secret key uh, which is not accessible to malware anymore. Uh, and this the same secret key is supposed to be uh, available at the sender as well as uh, at the receiver end to calculate the MAC. So basically, hash is normal, uh, normal, um, you know, using the one-way function to calculate the hash. Um, one-way function, and Mac is a key-based uh, This is a key-based authentication code. Okay, so that is the uh, that is the biggest difference here. In Mac, it requires a key to calculate uh, the authentication code, while in hash, there is no key is required. It's just the one-way function algorithm, which is required to uh, to calculate the hash of a same message. But the problem with the hash is that uh, a, a different message may have the collision um, depending on the algorithm that we are using. So in case of hash, if if uh, if we have a single uh, character or a single uh, byte message, you know, uh, change in the file, then it will change the entire hash of of that um, file. 
it is a digital uh, representation of the contents of the file um, so the uh, the Mac as well uh, it is a one-way function yes uh, it is specific to hash because in case of Mac uh, Mac calculates uh, using the cryptographic algorithm uh, the normal encryption that applies depending on uh, the type of Mac that we are calculating uh, but here in hash there is no encryption it is a simple one-way function uh, one-way function means uh, it is one direction uh, means it takes it takes the message and generates the hash but other way around it cannot uh, reverse uh, you know using the uh, the the hash message uh, and uh, it cannot uh, reverse to the original message when two different documents produce the same hash it is called as a collision so we need to avoid this collision this is very important terminology uh, which can be asked in in the different exams and uh, it is very useful to decide when you implement uh, you know or choose the algorithm um, in your uh, in your project fixed length output from a variable length message you uh, whether the message is of uh, 1 byte 10 byte 100 byte 1000 byte it will all, always generate this length of uh, output depending on the algorithm that we are choosing if it is md5 well md5 and sha1 are not recommended there are always been uh, you know collisions detected there in on those algorithms so uh, the sha2 family is is in use and uh, the new algorithms are coming as a sha3 family uh, these are recommended Mac versus hash so here uh, if we can uh, look at it the hash is calculated on the message here so on the blue messages are specific to uh, the hash to explain the hash uh, when the sender is calculating the hash it will um, you know concatenate the hash with the message and send it to the receiver so at the receiver end it will recalculate the hash on this message and compare it with this hash which is attached to verify whether this uh, message is same or has been tampered but you know um, the receiver will not be able to uh, detect it completely because if in the uh, middle if a malicious uh, you know um, any intruder have changed this message and re have attached the recalculated hash on this then uh, it was it will always be able to verify uh, and will not be able to detect whether this message is changed or not because this hash is already been changed while on um, on the mac to calculate the mac who the sender needs this secret key and this secret key is is uh, to be pre-shared with the receiver so that the receiver is also able to uh, uh, to calculate the mac for the verification purpose so how it is being calculated it uh, applies the encryption algorithm on the message uh, using this key and it uh, generates the Mac um, and this basically uh, attached this Mac uh, with this message and send it to the receiver at the receiver end using the same key because it has pre-shared uh, with the receiver and it recalculates the Mac on this message and compare it with this Mac attached so if if both are uh, you know uh, verifiable then it, it can declare okay the message is, is uh, non tampered and it is the original message so why uh, the same situation is not here uh, which was there with uh, hash the the man in the middle attack here because uh, on the on the even if the attacker is able to change the message the attacker will not be able to recalculate the mac because the attacker uh, don't know the secret key and uh, when this receiver will be uh, receiving this message and uh, will recalculate the Mac this Mac will not be uh, matched with this attached uh, Mac and uh, this can easily be able to identify that this message has been tampered I hope uh, this is very clear uh, what is Mac and what is hash I hope you find this video useful in your uh, project and uh, for your exams Thank you so much. If you like the video, you can comment or like. Thank you.